Hello and welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Lon McCarran alongside Phil Galfond. And tonight we are bringing you cash game action from Poker Night's Las Vegas residency, Studio 52. Lon, great to be here. Now, I've done a lot of hand analysis in my life, but never in a place like this. No, I guess not. It is a sight to see. Not only is there a poker game happening, there's actually a party going down staff with world-class chefs and mixologists. And I'm pretty sure I saw a magician. Yeah, the only thing this place is missing is a slide to get down from the second floor, Phil. We also have our friend Lexi Gavin Mather here, and she'll be giving us the inside scoop on everything off the felt at the mansion. As well as Joey Ingram, too, right? Well, Joey's got his own show. I think he's just taking full advantage of the open bar. Got it. <laughs> so let's get into this evening's game, which will be six-handed, playing 25 and 50 with the optional straddle. Yep. And as we look at those six players joining us in the debut of Studio 52, in seat one, we have Jesse Sylvia, the runner-up in the 2012 WSOP main event, followed by popular poker vlogger Johnny Vibes in the three-seat, Lily Coletto, who has become a Poker Night regular in recent years, making his Poker Night debut in the four-seat, MJ Gonzalez. Watch for him, a high-stakes crusher and former coach of Daniel Negrano. We also have Dan Shack in the five-seat, a hedge fund manager who's been a staple on the poker scene for over a decade. Rounding out the bunch, Jason Somerville. Jay Carver, one of the trailblazers in the poker streaming world. Great to see Jason back on Poker Night. So the max buy is 20,000. Three players bought in for 20K. Jesse, Dan, and Jason for 10K. And the 25-50 game comes with a $100 straddle, Phil, if they remember, I guess, you know. Yeah. Kind of casual. We chopped, we chopped. Todd Anderson in the box. Oh, like yeah. Must be a big game. I'm trying not, I'm like. Coletto with a very easy open. Under the gun with pocket tens. Love to see that firsthand. And another nice one for Dan Shack. He's queen suited. Let's see if he wants to call or raise. Both viable. Yeah. Wall Street guy. Been to the game a long time. Looking for his first World Series bracelet still. Came close a couple times. Jesse Sylvia did too. Second place in the main event. You playing a lot this summer, Jesse? Coming close to, to the bracelet. Yeah. He's dreading it. Look at his eyeballs. He's like, I made it. It's just, you know, <laughs> after day 18, <laughs> you've lost a little piece of yourself. And Shaq decides to just call, which lets Joni vibes in in the big blind with Jack 5 suited. But that's to have like resilience in the game. Louis, still good with the 10s, checks it. Screw it and started going and playing at the wind mostly, and I had a great Dan, time. Dan, you playing with oh, that I mean, uh, garbage? The wind's unbelievable. <laughs> and Dan going for a pretty big bet here. Paris. Valleys. Gets rid of Johnny Vibes. Lily not going anywhere with the overpair. Garbage. Check. Just like slow lines and stuff, and they did a really good job with it. Yeah, nice. I didn't really play much for two days. What do you play? Just coming for the short deck? I play snap. Calls quickly enough to stay. No hesitation. Yeah. Oh, well, now an ace for Shaq. Gonna steal this hand away from Lily with her tens. Was Nate there too? Nate yeah. Silver. Oh, I watched that it just recently. Got better and better for me. Oh, Dan, I think you're bluffing. <laughs> I think you have a seven nine. I don't know. Her instincts seeming mostly good. She calls on the flop when she's ahead. She calls quickly on the turn when she's ahead. Guessing we're chopping. She thinks on the river. Oh, f no, you got it. No chop. Are you kidding me? You said your hand got better and better. I thought the river, if your no, river made it better, we were chopping. Oh, I had spades on the turn. I wasn't folding. Yeah. You need to have the right inputs to get the right outputs. You need to have the right RAM to be able to run the spots, et cetera. Right. And so because you just get a, a little flashlight answer, uh, it doesn't give you any strategy framework. It doesn't tell you why it's doing what it's doing. And so to actually progress in this game efficiently and get better Lily back in. is... You need to have vision over your game. I'm Jay Gonzalez. Takes a short break from his solver explanation. Ten deuce. The ten deuce game is on. Now let's put in the re-raise. You know, from low stakes to high stakes. Of course, makes a lot of sense. And so, when you have vision over your game tree, everybody's got a program. MJ's got one too. Yeah. When the ten deuce is on, you you kind of have to go for it, even if it starts to become a bad idea financially. It's just kind of in the spirit of the game. Lily, best here. With the tens, MJ's got the ten deuce. He's going for something a little more. 
Small bet and a three-way pot is solver approved. Oh, I didn't say so I couldn't do a conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, I saw it, the look in Dan's eye. And me, like, this guy's I so wanted to say something. Yeah. <laughs> what a pro. How good is your hand? Just, he's been Excellent. out the game. Is it? I don't like a shame <laughs> promotion. In this I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 no. I don't know if I can beat. Well, they should pay you. Eight years, you for eight years, he comes back in just, just perfect. I mean, this is interesting. MJ goes from betting the flop, thinking he might be good. Now this turn bet. It is small Why's enough that I guess he still thinks he's should good, but more? turns out he's I think not. He well, the table pays him if he wins with 10 deuce. Coletto thinking this small bet. I think that that's hit Seems range. like it wants to get gonna, called. Oh, she gives up the down. best hand. Oh, oh my there it God. Is. Pay the man. You little 200 <laughs> each. Damn it. Good morning, Jesse. Nice to wake up. <laughs> do I so is it remembering that? your like sample? It and, like, logs you... everything you do. Okay. And right. then for the yeah. first time in poker, yeah. you actually get to see who you are on paper. Oh, oh my. Back to back hands. Ten deuce for MJ. Seems unfair. Right. That's awesome. There you go. Makes it 250. Guys, I have good hands sometimes too. I can't let him win it again. I believe you. It feels like this time is Not one of those. Times. There you go. Oh, <laughs> God. Wow. He's just going to pay the man Tell us his the money. Deuce all night. I mean, 10 deuce. Back to back. Yeah, that was awesome. I watched every hand of that. It was fun. It was so much fun. MJ, the star so far. They did a second one, right? No, not yet. No, not yet. Takes his hand off with Queen 5 off soon. The, the million dollar uh, buy in. Oh, you were on Somebody that else okay, win it. You're playing the next now. one? What? You're going to play the next no. one? No, no. You, you had your gamble. glasses on, so yeah. I didn't, uh, I don't recognize. <laughs> Raised with a weak ace. But one thing that I fell in love with from that game specifically was the 20 second shot clock. Huh. Yeah. Somebody put some money in. Fast player in the first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It made it so yeah, much reasonable call. Okay. Out of the big blind. It looks like we missed so rebate, yeah. our straddle. MJ was too excited. Got all his 10 deuce hands. Oh, it's right up my alley. Right in my range. I mean, it could be in my range too, honestly. Fair deuces for Johnny. Open ended for Lily. Six. MJ's still selling his program. <laughs> Chase is not buying yet. <laughs> Here we go. Both players with a little something. Goes bet raise call. Ooh. Tray of clubs on the turn. Straight flush draw on the board. A wheel for Johnny. Pair of trays and the king high flush draw for Lily. I really like this See, from Lily Coletto. She knows her hand is no good, even she, even though she turned it three. Let me double charge. She's trying to keep bluffing, and unfortunately, she's up against the ace of clubs, which is not going anywhere. Go I have a feeling you have a good hand. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't a uh, river card. Oh my! Ace high flush against the king high flush. Spicy. Check. But like, there are plenty of streams where people just. So I got, I, I'm a very fast player. She could have considered right. value betting. She goes for the like, check instead. to me, like. I'm kind of an anxious person, so like, I Johnny got Johnny started, you see oh, that? He started to bet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. got a call. Like that oh, hurt. My God. Easy call, and she gets the bad news. And so once I kind of like rationalized that, it was funny. Wow. wow. Johnny Vibes takes it down. Didn't start playing poker until he was 24. Well, a tough couple of hands there for Lily Coletto. We'll see if she can turn things around when we return to Studio 52 in Las Vegas. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Bet Rivers. Here we have the two MVPs of the night. We have Todd Anderson, the president of Poker Night in America, and the lady of the house, Jen Mastrude. Tell me what you're feeling, what's going on, and how did this all come together? Well, this was something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Uh, years ago, I watched the, uh, a documentary about Hugh Hefner, and he had done a show called uh, Playboy's Penthouse in 1959. It was kind of like the place to be. So it'd be like Frank Sinatra would be there, or Sammy Davis Jr. And I said, this is what poker needs. We need somebody, like a, a place, like a just a cool place with a cool vibe and just fun. And we started searching for a house here in Las Vegas. It took us a long time. So we, we moved in here a few months ago, and we've been decorating it ever since. And I got to give a lot of credit to uh, to Jen, uh, she's the one that pretty much has the, the interior design that really makes this place pop. We're excited, a little nervous, you know, to make sure everything comes off. We've been working on this for a long time. 
Nice talking to you guys. So MJ Gonzalez with 10 deuce twice up 9,200. Lily down almost 11 to five right now. As we get back to the action, Jason yeah, Somerville is going to have the straddle. The fun about that game was the stand-up game, because we were playing like pretty that big. That was so wild. The, and then Marcus losing Marcus six in a row oh, yeah. is just it's wild. Just, that was insane. And like, because I play with Marcus in Bobby's room. Yeah, he like, plays. He not, does, he's not a knit. Johnny he Bobs with the aces. Games, you know? Yeah. yeah. That must have been such a, like, a mental, like, uh, Johnny Vibes, good cash game player. He said he's trying to get as good as his brother, Andrew Moreno, at tournament poker, and he just has not yet. Andrew crushes poker tournaments. Oh, yeah, he's great. He's hilarious. When Snable comes out, yeah, he's a MJ can't get away from any hand. Yeah, he's a good That's dude. That's a decent call. A couple of clubs out there for MJ. I like this check from Johnny Vibes. A lot of people just see bet. Kind of everything, but aces is one of the best over pairs to check on this flop here. Less vulnerable. Always pressure from MJ Gonzalez. Aces are still good. Yeah, if he's got outs, he's coming. Yeah, that's one. It's the flush. He bet before, he's gonna bet again. And he over bets, so had he bet something like two thirds pot, Johnny Vibes might think maybe he has 10 8, maybe he has 10 9, but now he knows he only beats a bluff. <laughs> he looks away as he throws the chips in, knowing he's lost. He had good instincts. Hard to get away from aces with the ace of clubs. Yeah. I I wanted to fold. Too. It's impossible to fold there. I think I thought you king six of clubs. Oh, oh. Jesse clubs. Sylvia. Second place in the main event. He's got the straddle here. Back in 2012 when Greg Merson won it. I had a really good hand. Loose call from MJ, a 10-4 suited. You cannot keep him out of the pot. And he, know, he knows the solver doesn't like this call. <laughs> That's right. And he'll tell Jason about it afterward. Shaq with the, the pocket pair. <laughs> what? And Shaq. <laughs> yeah, and, and Shaq. All right. Lily's best with her 10s. Eight. Open-ended for Dan Shaq. Lily decides to go ahead and essentially bluff, semi-bluff this flop. Even though she's made bottom pair, she's trying to fold a weak queen or jack. You know, MJ plays a lot of hand, but he always has a little something something, doesn't he? It does seem that way. Either that or 10 deuce. Damn, folds. Prudent fold with the bottom end of the open ender. Another diamond, flush check. draw now for MJ. Check, check. Oh man, he gets another flush. 22. New one. Again, yeah. Lily going for a bluff with a hand that could try to show down. Flush. Flush, Lily. Wow. It's pretty amazing. Nice hand. Thank you. <laughs> He's never, the only way Dan's not pleasant is when he has that laptop in front of him. Yeah. And actually, away from a poker table, MJ is pleasant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seriously. Wow. <laughs> Jesse with really? two black aces. 250. Are you in Vegas a lot, Dan? Yeah, I live here. You live here, okay. Seems like somebody always has aces or 10 deuce, right? What's the best restaurant? Best and second best hand. There's so Somerville. many of them here. Suited 9 Carbone 7. Is good. Very good player. Carbone. Very That's good. That's a popular heart. one. Yeah, and it's, uh... yeah, love to see him back. Isn't that great? Playing on TV. Known Maybe that original OG Twitchers, as they say. Indeed. Gut shot for Jason. Jesse with his ace is still good right now. Goes for the C bet. You can go either way with aces here. Let's see a turn. Pair of sevens for Jason. Second best. Really interesting lead here from Jason. This you see it, some leads. Turn leads we were just talking about. This is in my it's in my brain now. Okay, it's in his brain. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Jesse's ran the sim for this one though. He might be too yeah. impressionable. <laughs> yeah. It seems that way. <laughs> Gets there on wow. the end. Yeah, he does. Nines and sevens, ace crackers. Ooh, he's looking a little more serious now. 
How much can I get? Yeah. Jesse going to pick up on that again. How do you fold aces? No, a check here. Yeah. I think I should have bet. Good instincts from Jesse and Sylvia. Approved. I think I would have bet too, but Is that ace, ace? by the way you said that, it's clear you had a plan. Ace, ace? Oh, oh my God. God. You get hands like that? I'm sitting here suffering with like bottom pair. You know that jack four, <laughs> queen, nine? Literally nothing. You, I am. More from Poker Night in America's Studio 52 in Las Vegas when we return. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, Studio 52 in Las Vegas, Nevada, where action will begin on Jason Somerville after Dan Shack straddle. Right now, if someone's all in, it will be over five times. Oh, the aces have moved to the left. Johnny vibes. Okay. Lily, ace queen suited. Really nice hand when you're not up against aces. Mm. Ocean situation. Can't miss every Do you have hand. the rule book available? No. It seems to come around more like this in cash games and tournaments. I don't know why. And with Lily just sitting on a 5K stack, Johnny Vibes decides to slow play. Top pair for Lily, no good. 1,000? 1, 1, so where are you staying, Vegas? Like his slow play preflop, by the way. Keep all the bluffs in. His only move preflop is to call or shove. You know what? Forget the question. Oh, he gets Forget the 1K bet out of her on the uh, flop. Lily for is it. all in and in trouble. Hey, what's your social? Yeah. No, she can still chop. She won't. She won't. Nothing she can do with top pair there. And Give her a run of unfortunate hands for yeah, Lily pull that out. I stand vibes. Well, that was fun, guys. Lily goes bust. You sure that was 20K? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a backup player? So Lily wow. takes her leave. Uh, Jesse added 5K to his stack. MJ up 20K already. Wow. Goes fast. Comes fast. <laughs> Seat open, sir. Seat open. I would love, okay, can I get in there? No, not today. Pretty hand, Johnny Vibes. Thank you. Chips in hand, ready to go. Pretty hand. Does Dan Shack want to just call, or does he want to three bet this one? He's been around forever. I think he invented poker. Yeah. 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 <laughs> three bets to 900. and. Johnny Vibes has to decide if he wants to put in a four bet or just see a flop. Dan Shack hasn't been very active thus far. That's weighing on Johnny's mind. Mm. Can't fold, can't raise there. He could have shoved, I guess. Could have shoved. 51, 50 in the middle. Flush draw for Johnny. But the tens are still best here. And they check. Really unpleasant spot for Dan Shack, both pre-flop and now on the flop. It's going to continue. Ah, Johnny gets there with the tray of clubs on the turn. 300 bucks. I want a black card on my Dan Shack red. does have the 10 of clubs, which doesn't help him in this particular case, but thinks it might. 1,500 to call. Put the max paint on him. Yeah, let's see if I hit. Let's see if Johnny is bluffing. Johnny's going to get Never the first it. bit of bad news. The second bit comes if he decides to call. Would have been worse to have the eight of clubs for Shaq. 5K. Dan Shaq's getting three to one. He needs to decide, am I good? 25% of the time here or more. He knows he only beats a bluff at this point. Never played with you. I don't view you much as bluffing. Keep in mind, for Johnny Vibes to be bluffing here, he would have probably needed to have been bluffing preflop with the four bet. Shaq looks like he's in fold mode. Much. Yeah, this is, there he goes. Nice fold, Dan Shaq. It doesn't matter what the river card is. You, that wasn't even the right card. Yeah, not clubs. Oh. Bob Mather taking uh, Lily Coletto's seat for the time being. Bob, a trained private investigator. Fascinating to talk to him about it. I snapped the turn. I've done very little yeah. private investigating in my day. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be Sorry. careful with everything <laughs> you answer to him. You never know what he's up to. Ace King suited again for Johnny Vibes, this time diamonds. 
gonna raise it up. Just gets called by MJ, the base jack offsuit. Wow, nice flop for Johnny. Top pair, top kicker, flush draw. Got the world. MJ with top pair, in trouble. He'll see a turn card. Johnny vibes, still good. Definitely wanna keep betting a hand like this. It's hard for MJ to get away at this point too. Look at Bob Mather, he's studying everything and taking notes. He's, he's, he's taking notes, he notices. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I can't I, diamonds are coming to I can't tonight. argue with that. Yeah, no, I... Fives yeah, has to decide how much he wants to value bet here. Yeah, goes with something smaller, like 2K. It looks like he could still have an ace. Maybe MJ could be chopping or winning. Goes with the over bet instead. MJ knows he only beats a bluff. So the question becomes, is Johnny Vibes bluffing? Do you play like the 10K Raz and all that stuff? straight up my neck. MJ can read people almost as well as Bob Mather can. He's not happy about it. But on the other hand, you do have top pair. I don't know what to do. The fold. Great fold from MJ there. Figure out whether you beat a value bet or not. And otherwise, you just have a bluff catcher. Yeah, right? 100%. Yeah. Vibe at Studio 52 is all Johnny right now. We'll see if he continues to get hit with the deck when we return. Here we are in the kitchen. It smells amazing. We have Nick McBroom the chef and owner of Indulge Catering. Nick, can you tell us a little bit about some of the food that you've made tonight? Well, we have a couple things. Um, charcuterie, little mini charcuterie boards. Um, I have a nice arugula salad, a uh, nice prime tenderloin with some chimichurri, lobster rolls, don't forget about the lobster rolls. We also have a little pulled pork sliders and some fresh, uh, beautiful pastries here. Food has been amazing. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, alongside Phil Galfond in Studio 52 in Las Vegas. Let's check on the current chip stacks. Johnny Vibes has been hit with the deck about as hard as I've ever seen, but it's MJ Gonzalez who is sitting on the most profit, up almost 20,000, about halfway through the session. You're such an honest man. Well, it just feels like- it just feels <laughs> Busy like background tonight. Yeah. yeah. No, just don't bluff, it's fine. MJ has the straddle. Like, like it needs more earlier, incentive to be in the hand. Yeah, that was nice of you. <laughs> A7 suited for Shaq. This one's good enough to open. Jesse got burned with aces, so he's got to sit out 10 hands. Well enough to know you're probably not checking too many turns on the Ace, Ace, Nine. Mather, the BI, as in Magnum PI yeah. in the hand with Jack Nine. When I make it 600, I think you're going to have to. And PI I have looks up Dan balls. Shaq. Yeah, it's Dan's used to that. I do wonder if I should call one. Flush draw for Dan, Dan, middle pair for Bob. 400. That, that hand was betting again. Let's clear go. check call for middle pair, yeah, pretty clear bet for Dan Shack. And nothing surprising happening yet. What if you had a 10? I just blocked. Jack's full, wow, got better every street for Jack's the PI. Full with Dan Shack making his nut flush. Now this pot should get Ooh, wow. big. Did he fold? Oh, <laughs> that's not your hand. I know that, but I <laughs> Wait, that's my no, hand. No, that's his hand. That's his oh. hand. You can show no, it. No, it's like I had you. Oh, no, you had a full house. Oh, my God, I misread. I had you misread your hand. You misread your hand again. By then you stole my card. Then, I apologize, but I, I, misread I, I rivered the nut flush, and I didn't realize it, or I would have obviously okay? called. No, no, I, okay? there were three diamonds <laughs> out there, How many fingers correct? am I holding up there? Was there three diamonds? All right, <laughs> it's official. I can't beat this <laughs> game. All right, <laughs> if that's true. There were three diamonds. Yeah, you literally didn't look. I swear to God, I folded the nut flush. How many fingers am I holding up there? I can't beat Dan Shack with, with the... He had, got the, he had me, too, which is he's crazy. He's got the mystery. <laughs> you wouldn't have even known that if you hadn't looked. The luckiest misread of all time. Gets away completely unscathed. I would have put in a lot of money there if I had nut flush and knew it. You'll learn. It happens when you get over 60. Yeah. Need I say it? MJ in the hand. Probably can't. 10 8 off suit. Uh, yeah. Jason's got the diamonds, so he's going to win already, right? 10 8 off suit, a little bit loose, but we've seen looser from MJ. Only one 10 left in the deck. 
one diamond out there. Top pair for Johnny. Let's see if MJ decides to fire. He does not. No pair, no draw. MJ with a gut shot. Flush draw for Jason. Top pair for Johnny hanging on. Who wants to do the betting? Start with Somerville with his king high flush draw, one over card. No, but my, lately my dogs have just Nothing to do but call for Johnny vibes exciting. here. Well, they usually wake up Ashley because she gets up. MJ early. will not play right, the river. I, that you have to fire the I guess that means he would have missed. Stays up late. Wow, okay. I have never seen so many flushes. Oh my God, I'm so much more productive. Since Somerville has been talking. Has he noticed the flush yet? I think he has. Somerville used to playing and talking via Twitch. A little different though with the live poker table. I think he navigated it well. Winner, winner. Completely understand the call there from Johnny Vibes. So many straight draws missed. Only one draw I comes in. I ask myself that every day. What am I producing? Uh, yeah, I so agree. it really does behoove you to learn those things quickly rather than in 22 years when you go, wow, I should have been eating less, you know, whatever you're eating that's horrible for you uh, instead of 22 more years of consuming that thing. Yeah. Like, so. What would you have given up 22 years ago if you knew you shouldn't have been doing that for 22 years? And for me, I wouldn't mention Norman Chad, but go ahead. <laughs> Norman Chad for me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bob Mather got all the info he needed on these players and has left the table with a small loss. Got an open 7 6 suitor to call with eights, a three bet with king queen suited. A lot of good hands and chips going into the pot. It looks good. Again, Jesse with the diamonds, so we know he's going to hit the flush and win this pot. I don't know why anybody else is playing. Dan Shack wisely gets out of the way so he doesn't right. get flush over flushed. Seven, six of diamonds. So far, so good. We've got. Oh, wow. <laughs> All diamonds again. Jesse with the flush. And they've got about three times pot left to play here. It feels so familiar. A little bit under. Sylvia goes with a small bet. Had he gone with a big bet, Somerville needs to think about shoving it in on the flop. But against the small bet, let's just peel off, see a turn. Jason with an over pair and the eight of diamonds. Jesse has the action. He's got the hammer. Does he want to keep betting for value or does he want to check, represent a hand like ace king, ace queen that is missed? See if he can entice a bet out of Jason Somerville. He's going to do the betting himself, it looks like. Tough one for Jason here. It is. He's basically only beating a bluff. Could Jesse have ace of diamonds, queen? That's kind of merging, sure. Could he have sixes somehow, sure. But yeah, I think it's tough to get away from eights at this point. Well, an eight wins in the pot, but it's the four hearts. The interesting thing now is if Jesse Sylvia shoves the river, which I would in his shoes, he's no longer repping the over pairs that he's kind of representing on the turn. He's, he's either gotten there with an ace or he has a flush or some kind of bluff that is missed, which would usually be a, a king of diamonds with a Queen of Hearts, All rather in. than the Queen of Diamonds. All in. Somerville not happy. Looks down to confirm he's got that diamond, but yep. doesn't give him much thought. Great fold. No 10. He shows. I had diamonds. Your diamonds? Don't go anywhere. More from Studio 52 and Poker Night in America. We'll be back in just a moment. Welcome back to Studio 52 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Let's have a quick look at the chip stacks. MJ Gonzalez is still up large, nearly doubling his buy-in. We just saw Jesse Sylvia take a nice pot off Jay Carver to increase his stack 5,000. And it appears we have lost Bob Mather back to the house party after a very quick appearance. Joining the table now is Matt Berkey, one of the more experienced high stakes cash game players in Vegas. This should really change the table dynamic moving forward. Much to the chagrin of Johnny Vibes, who now has to deal with Berkey on his left. Like, no hands went to showdown. When you don't know how to fight, how can yeah, you fight I, everywhere? Well, I expect them to be stationary. Berkey is an action player, an action talker. Sure, but the, I mean, the thing is, it's much different than ring, right? So if you don't know how to fight or even understand certain nodes, like, you're just dead. Dead. Yeah. Berkey getting yeah, involved right away with 9 8 suitor. Uh, As would I. Yeah, I guess. The he opts for the three bet. Really him bad. Yeah. But you can't station whenever Johnny vibes open with the suited king. Yeah, I mean, this is normally a hand you'd fold. I uh, don't like the call, but he decides to four bet instead, which I think is the next best option besides folding. How much is it, 4K? And in this case, he's right. He has the best hand. Action player. 
You guys are both playing really good right now. Bob would have played this exactly the same way I did, <laughs> for what it's worth. King had the best hand right now. Berkey open-ended. I have eyes representing mostly over pairs pre-flop. So I keep repping over pairs. Chickens here. I had two red cards. So he checks. We know that Berkey would have been putting in a, some money against a bet. Does he want to be kind of tricky checking back a draw, or does he want to put, it, put in a bet right now himself? He checks. I'll take it again. Berkey missed his draw. A pair of trays now for Johnny Vibes, the best hand. And then I take it again. So this is interesting. When you four bet and check, you're, you're representing that you missed with ace king or that you were bluffing pre-flop and hit a four or a seven. You're usually representing that you have some kind of showdown value. Matt Berkey with nine high and a draw. I think at this point, wants to try to take it away. Will he go for it? Johnny Vibes being tested. I like this bet size from Berkey. He's not saying I have ace 10 because that would have bet the flop. He's saying I have pocket eights. I want to see if I'm good. I have pocket sixes. I want to see if I'm good. How about nines? Nines are good now. And normally, putting in this much money with 9-8 on the river would seem foolish, but the way the hand's played out, Johnny yeah, Vibes rarely has back. better than 9-8. I'm only positive you have 10 deuce. That's why you get check, paid check, the big pay the man. Got the nine on the end. Oh, wow, that's how he does it, Matt Berkey. You guys are both wow. playing great. Bob would have played that the same way. Honestly, I can relate. You do have a lot of overinvesting in things that may pan out somewhere down the MJ line. MJ in there with a much better hand than average, 10 9 suited. Once you feel like you're overly invested. Oh, he's much it. better than average. I I would have never Jesse. been able to pull the plug like you did. He's queen of diamonds this time. You climb the mountain and have to say, a better gonna diamond hand. Or am I going to go do something else? You would have stayed on top of the mountain. Eh, it's hard to defend up there. King of the hill, you know? It's hard to be there. I like the three bet. Let's Out of position here, especially knowing how loose MJ has been. Uh, yeah. MJ loves these hands. I think if you had gotten into YouTube... MJ's always got something. Streaming Flush draw. Was a big Queens for Jesse. Out, but if online poker existed in Two America, hands happy to put in some money on this flop. Let's see back, how it plays out. Right. So it was like, I, of course, I kind of... Pretty big continuation out. bet from Jesse. I wasn't even thinking... I, I was thinking you would have MJ, of course, coming with the call. You soon. MJ misses. Well, they've still got about three well, times the pot remaining. Back then? Was that a, thing? No, was a little uncomfortable to get all in here with ace-queen for three times the pot. So Jesse decides to check. MJ Gonzalez doesn't bluff, wants to realize his equity, checking back. He's got to be a little bit uncomfortable with the seven river. He does decide to check. Will MJ bluff with his 10 high? I think so. He thinks so. Big stack, getting to work again. We're trying to expand into other markets. No hesitation from Sylvia. Yeah, we could talk about the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, MJ's bet small enough that he could have a hand like Queen Jack, Queen 10 for value. Had he gone big, Jesse would only be to bluff, but easy, easy call with Ace Queen there. Yeah. Which is so Jesse just, just playing big diamonds. Yeah. He'll sit back the rest of the night. No, and it, play right. Guys. And yeah. so what needs to actually happen is the barriers of entry. Jason, be pocket nines possible. now. First and foremost. Yeah. So this Beautiful is hand to look down at on the button. You like king queen anytime? Just they're big cards and they're pictures and they're pretty and yeah. 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 Three good hands here. Jesse could have three bet out of the small blind. I think I would have. He decided to just call and. That lets Berkey come in with the squeeze out of the big blind with pocket tens. And so finding a way to easify. Not going anywhere with nines, and we'll head to the flop without Jesse. Those two nice big cards. Both players feeling pretty good about this flop. Probably content to play a small to medium sized pot given. The pot, I guess, is already pretty big. So we want to do something with Solve for Why with the poker out loud with our stuff. So we got to talk. Okay. Call 800. I'll let you lose this pot, and then we'll discuss. <laughs> I have a really good hand. Status quo. So Berkey could bet small three times here. If he were to bet big on the turn and big on the river, that would be putting in too much money with queens and tens. He decides to check. Somerville thinks he's good and goes ahead and fires out this bet for protection and value. I will say this bet looks like what it is, but I don't think Berkey can raise with pocket tens just a little bit too much money to put into the pot. 
Nine of diamonds on the end, wow. If Berkey, like I did, thought that this turn bet from Somerville looks like a low pocket pair, now what, what might turn into a big river bet is not gonna make sense as the story. You win. I got lucky, All brother. in, call, win. Yeah. And he didn't believe it. He kind of believed it. It was the yeah. call and the you win. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. it, it was a tough one to lay down, though. Yeah. Don't go anywhere, folks. More cash game action from Studio 52 after these brief messages. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Bet Rivers. Here we are with world-class bartender Dean. Dean, what do you have cooking for us? We are working on Gavin's Greyhound today in honor of our friend Vodka, a little Capaletti, which is like a Campari, some elderflower liqueur to soften it up, and then like the traditional Greyhound, some grapefruit juice. Awesome, looks That's good, it. and it looks pretty. Cheers. Cheers. Let's take a look at the stacks as we get back into the action. Jesse Sylvia has quietly become the biggest winner of the session after picking off a bluff from MJ Gonzalez moments ago. And I think the real story, though, is Johnny Vibes, now 6,000 in the red after a huge run early on. Let's get back down to the felt where we've got a new player after Jason Somerville had to check out early. No, the, the money factor actually... People have a talk show and talk for a living, then go somewhere else. So they keep talking, don't they? I think the exciting part was... That's why they have a talk show, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Todd sits down to kings. Literally there are worse hands to sit down to. I was joking, but I had never looked at a heads-up range in my life. Yeah. I can confirm. When he showed me the hand history... Range is a 400. Years prior, I, I can confirm. Yeah. Fives just calls King Jack suited Especially to consider three-betting, and Berkey comes along with... Is, uh, a format that not a stellar hand, but was, he'd like to see the flop drilled down to just two nodes. Yeah. Kings are still best. Pair of jacks, no good here. Uh, yeah, Todd's got to like his hand. Johnny Vives has to like his hand. Let's see how big this pot gets. Uh, three bet pot Todd, of course, check. president of Poker Night in America. And Phil, I hope he's not betting our bankroll. I, I, I really hope not. Three bet pots in general, like, yeah. especially at that depth, like, I don't think people the understand. The four here. connects to the board, but People aren't going to have 6 3, 6 8 too often pre flop. So they're both still feeling pretty good about their hands. As we see another bet and another call. Hmm. Paired board now. Spades come in. Todd decides to check this one back and he'll win a nice pot. Pretty low stress hand for Pocket Kings. That's not the way the cash games are supposed to go. It is not. No, from the table. We don't want to shoot anymore. There's a poker after dark where everyone prop out gentilly. She can make a foul shot, and she just goes up and. Is she it. your poker room? Have a basketball hoop? Mm -hmm. Ours does. I'm giving you a chance to fold. See if we got some basketball prop bets going on in the background. I want to play against the preflop god. But unfortunately, we're gonna have to watch this poker hand play out. <laughs> Talked him right into it. Berkey Rays, Sylvia calls with the sixes. Hey, pretty good call with the sixes. All right. Fire away. Whoa, 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 she could take all the shoes off that she wants. Mine can't. Oh, she can't? All right, fine, shoes are on, shoes are on. Oh, I thought that was. Hey, that's not bad, that's not bad. It was a miss. Another miss as Berkey, who also missed. Glad to see about his flop. Jesse wisely decides to slow play. I think Berkey was not going to give him action if he decided to check raise here. So now the question becomes, will Berkey continue his story, potentially having connected with this king in Jesse Sylvia's mind? I lose money. Check, check. I lose money. You're, you're playing great, Lily. What the f <laughs> Interesting check here on the end. To me, it looks like Berkey often has some showdown value. It's also... Getting slightly, slightly dicey to check raise because you do see the ace queens and queen nines out there. Oh. Berkey with the ace blocker and the nine blocker, both, both blocking a straight, does decide to bluff here. I think it's a very credible, credible bluff. And Jesse Sylvia now deciding if he wants to check raise or just check call. I guess there, I guess so. Is there such a thing as bluff tanking? <laughs> I really like this one. 
What's that? I really like Jesse's thinking, line. I'm almost sure I win here, but could Berkey have Jack-Jack, Ace-Queen, Queen-Nine? He would have played those all this way some percentage of the time. Good. And once I put in a big raise, Good. when he continues, will he just have those? He does decide to just call. Yes, he wins. If you raise, I was going to three bet. <laughs> yeah. One last commercial break, but we will be right back with more poker before we wrap things up for the evening. Welcome back to Studio 52, Poker Night in America. Ron McCarran along with Phil Galpon. 2550, 100 straddle. Yeah, show them how it's done. Oh, top ranked players. That's not easy. And a basketball game in the background. I'm trying to injure my player. Lily's been missing all night. Berkey Rays. MJ, can't go away. Oh, I thought she Crash hit it. there as well. Three pretty good hands for the blinds and the straddle. Oh! Her seven is for Matt. She made it? You got shot for MJ. Huh? I owe you? No, I owe you. No, you win. You were a big favorite. Nice shot, though. I like this check from Matt Berkey. Bottom pair, he's trying to get the showdown. It's a long way. Thank you, Lily. <laughs> that it is. Ace is up now for Matt. Top pair and gut shot for MJ. Slight overbet here. Very big bet for the situation. MJ not going anywhere with Ace-10, of course. Shaq's threes will hit the muck. River card. Oh, wow, another Jack. Really unfortunate card for Matt Berkey. He does decide to check. It's the problem with the weak aces, Check ladies and gentlemen. Check and win. Check and win. Correct. He's doing our job for us, Lon. <laughs> Check and win. Oh, MJ's win. the man. <laughs> MJ Gonzalez, big winner on the night. Jesse Sylvia not far behind. Lily Coletto lost her stack. Maybe she's making it up on the hoops. It was definitely a swingy day for Vibes and an unsatisfying session for Lily Coletto, but both of them will be back to play again during our time here, and I'm sure they're looking forward to that. As are we. So make sure you tune in next time for more poker and fun from Studio 52 in Las Vegas. If you want more Poker Night, be sure to follow us on social media for highlights and exclusive hands of the day. Plus, you can find all our episodes and our 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube, Twitch, Plex, and many other services. Check PokerNight.com for details on where to watch. Also, don't forget to download our free poker app with regular sweepstakes contests, all new game modes like blackjack and slots, and it's all totally free. Search for us in your app store and download it today. For my co-host, Phil Galfon, and everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Lon McCarran. Thanks for watching.